dear uh, ladies and gentlemen and my dear brothers and sisters, I don't have any problem with any nation, <clears throat> even the Afghans, but nobody told me that I should support Biafra. You know how I became a Biafra. But after I see that they congratulate President of the United States, Donald Trump, uh, for his decision, capital of Israel is Jerusalem. And I know before that Biafra and Biafra nation, they are not religious government or country, but the administration, they announce uh, officially in Biafra TV that they con congratulate Donald Trump and they are uh, accept capital city for Israel. That's why now, you know, I fight for the Biafra freedom from the first day until now. And many people was against me and somebody was trying to kill me. And they talk about me and against me so much, as you know. But after this decision of administration of IPOB. So I would like to say now I am uh, not special advisor of the leader and the Biafra nation anymore. This is my decision. Nobody told me you have to leave the, the nation. Nation of Biafra, maybe, maybe they don't know, but administration, they support Trump decision and the capital city of the Jerusalem. J Jerusalem is belongs to all human beings, mankind, not only for Israel or Trump or some part of the human being. So, that's why I am not anymore supporting the Biafra administration. But Biafra nation, I don't have any problem with the nation. Because nation cannot do without leaders. When they announce the capital city is for Israel, so it is not acceptable. So it means they are not free, freedom fighters. I told them, if you are freedom fighters, I am with you. Because there was a Biafra, Republic of Biafra, I was fighting. But after this decision, unfortunately, I will not be anymore special advisor of the Namdi Kanun or Biafra Nation. And I'm, I'm not saying to apologize, because this is my idea, and I am Muslim. I was supporting the Biafra freedom and struggle, self-determination, but unfortunately, because of your administration decision, I cannot support uh, this kind of leadership in Biafra. Thank you very much for your kind attention, and I hope God will open your eyes for the truth. We are son and daughters of the Adam and Eva. There is only one God that we trust. God will guide us. God will do what is necessary. And the Jerusalem, by occupation, Mecca and Medina, by Total age, a new defense line through Jerusalem is mandatory. Behind United States President Donald Trump's decision and declaration of Jerusalem as the Israeli capital lies 
the sacred agreement made between the United States, Israel, Saudi Arabia, Crown Prince bin Salman, and United Arab Emirates, Crown Prince bin Zayed. Salman and Zayed, who are planning to radically change the Arab world and and traditional policy, uh, polit politi uh, politics by starting a new wave of Arab nationalism and establishing the Great Arab Front against Iran conducted their first operation inside Saudi Arabia. This duo who eliminated whatever belonged to the old administration, retained princes and the businessmen and sized their assets are both funding the Great Front against Iran and taking steps that will shock the Muslim world. Now come Israel far right project through Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, they see Islam, Jerusalem, Mecca, Medina cities, and whatever belongs to Islamic values as part of the Arab identity and are turning them into an item in the alliance with the United States and Israel and lying it on the table. They see these as things that can be forsaken to uh, take them their grip on their own position and ensure the design of the new Arab world. This project is entirely the project of United States, neocons and the Israeli far right. <coughs> A project similar to the one implemented in Turkey in the February 28th, COP is now being implemented in the Arab world. Those who try to destroy the system in Turkey through the FETA terrorist organization are now trying a new project with these young leaders galvanizing them with the enthusiasm of Arab nationalism, yet the project tried on July 15, on February 28, and now in the Arab world are part of West's plan to redesign the region, promoting this with outcries such as Moderate Islam is now an old tactic. This is a great evil partnership. Let it be clear, Bin Zayed is being directly controlled by Western and Israeli intelligence. The project is being implemented through him. This is an evil partnership established over dividing Arab territory, uh, plaguing their sources and selling whatever there is that belongs to Muslims. To be frank, as someone who has closely followed all destruction plans in the region to date, I see this as a plan to destroy the region. It is more dangerous than we think while the front to fight Iran is being formed, at the same time it is planted on the basis of a deep separation between the non-Arab Muslim world and Arabs. The Muslim world is facing a division trade greater than sectarian segregation. Jerusalem by occupation, Mecca and Medina city by Total age, Bin Salman and Bin Zayed are probably the final actors of the Western invasion, the attack targeting the region. They are going to have a nuclear bomb effect. The major invasion 
movement toward the region is being served through these two leaders. I personally believe they also made a sacred agreement regarding the whole of Palestine that are convinced on the division of Saudi Arabia. An agreement was also ensured a special status that includes Mecca and Medina City. This status will certainly be under the United States and the United Kingdom. Israeli to tell age, this way they are going to take Jerusalem under control through occupation and Mecca and Medina through to tell age. That is, when the Muslim world is going to be faced with a new war and a new struggle to save its sacred values, these two leaders that ride the Arab world sold out Arab lands and step by step paved the way for invasion and division through the Arab front discussed under the pretext of war against Iran. That's when all hell may break loose. These two leaders are the representatives in the Arab world of federal terrorist organizations, uh, treachery against Turkey, the role they have assumed is not limited to the change in power in Saudi Arabia alone. They have taken action as the invasion tools of the Western occupation. This new trade, new project will be better understood in time and that is when an extraordinary regional resistance will be activated. For now, it is gradually becoming clear that they sold Jerusalem and Palestine. Once it becomes clear that they also sold out their own countries, that they are each put in the hands of Western intelligence agencies, all hell will break loose. They established the main front of war against Islam, not war against Iran. This is why the matter is not Palestine and Jerusalem alone. It is the effort to form a new regional resistance through the defense of Jerusalem against the new trade and plan targeting the region. Hence the countries outside the Arab world, primarily Turkey, have, I am sure, seen the dangers. This is why the Jerusalem Awareness is being supported to the utmost. It will not end here. The matter will grow. Regional resistance will gain strength. More concrete steps will be taken and new pursuits will be activated. The truth is that the new front line spanning the United Arab Emirates, Riyadh and Sinai is not the front for war against Iran, but the line of battle with the Muslim Arab world, those uh, who said war will shift to the heart of Islam, have established the main front of the war against Islam over the Jerusalem Mecca line. The Muslim world is face to face with the test of lying climb to its sacred values, these two leaders, powers, should be taken from them. This is not a matter of Islamism uh, or that of an ideology. Yes, it is the matter of the future of the Muslim world. However, it is also an important leg of the global power showdown. It is a, a geopolitical struggle. Hence, all countries that are standing against the United States global empire and aggressiveness and are disturbed by the trade that Israel poses will in the new circumstance support the fight that is becoming symbolized uh, through Jerusalem. The first task and uh, <clears throat> hand 
is to take the United States and Israel's new toys away from them. <coughs> These two Arab leaders' powers need to be limited and uh, deactivated to achieve this a mass reaction in the Arab world is necessary for this reaction to happen the danger and treasury need to be explained a new uh, regional resistance exists must be formed Muslim countries must form a new local chain of alliance that will protect the region and take position according to the shifts in global power, the decaying superstructure like the organization of Islamic cooperation that are over must be terminated because after a while they will want to use this structure to for a similar role. Turkey must lead this move. The Muslim countries in Asia and Africa should join this new alliance from the countries in the Middle East, only those standing against the trade and treasury should take place in the new alliance. Sectarian differences and classic disputes should be left behind and at least 10 countries must urgently uh, unit for this joint resistance line. Jerusalem, Mecca and Medina cannot be a card on the table. Action must be taken to save sacred areas like Jerusalem, like Mecca and Medina. These regions should be removed from the area of initiative of the said leaders who have surrendered to the United States Israeli intelligence network. They should be prevented from being a cut on the table for them. An effective defense mechanism, solidarity must be built between the strong countries of the Muslim world. New superstructures must be formed in the field of economy, politics and defense. Military technology partnership should be undertaken and economic reserves should be formed. Very powerful messages should be given at the OIC submit that will be gathering in Turkey on Wednesday. Concrete and discouraging steps should be taken, even if not possible under the organization. Certain countries should gather on the small scale and form the core of the new resistance axis. The Jerusalem fury may be the harbinger of a shocking change. The evidences that has developed through Jerusalem shows as of today that such a need exists, that such a need has been discovered. What is being done now is the effort to active regional resistance. This effort must uh, spread to all countries, to all streets, and this streets must be insistently fed. If the necessary sensitivity is shown and the necessary efforts are made, the new invasion project launched through the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia will be reserved, uh, re reversed. Through it seems very pessimistic right now. The Jerusalem free may be the harbinger of a surprising, a shocking change. Some administrations and leaders may lose the authority to rule both their region and people. The Muslim world may condemn with great political free the administration that have formed a partnership, a secret front with the United States and Israel. That front is going to collapse. Perhaps 
some may have set up a game for what comes after this invasion too, but the primary target of the Jerusalem free is that sacred alliance and the leaders that are involved in this Jerusalem, Jerusalem is going to destroy that front because a new wave is rising and this wave is the natural local reaction of the Muslim world. What falls upon us as a duty is to augment this wave and that we will do because this is a fight for the homeland and also I'm saying again I would like to remind you I'm not special advisor of the Namdi Kano and the Biafra Nation because of the announce the administration of the IPOB announced in Biafra TV that they congratulate decision of the Donald Trump for capital city for Israel. Biafra is not religious government or nation. They was freedom fighters, but the administration changed it. That's why I am not with IPOB administration, but I am with Biafra nation, because nations are clear. I believe that. But I am not anymore special advisor of the IPOB leaders and the administration. Thank you very much, and God bless you all, my dear brothers and sisters. Thank you.